Hey everyone, Dan Scott back again with another video where I want to talk about the word translated dispensation here, which is from the Strong's G3622. I'm at uh, Blue, Blue Letter Bible. So you can look up the verse, I'm going to click right here, and we see that the word here, which is a noun, is Strong's G3622, Economia. All right, and this is a compound word. It's from oikos, which is a dwelling. Where We also have oikia, which is a house. So we have to translate words different. So oikos is dwelling, <clears throat> and then nomos is from law. Nomos. Law. So we have the dwelling and we have the law involved with the word here ignored in the translation dispensation. And this is why the Devar translation is superior. Where you see in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 2, it's translated the guardship of the dwelling law, which is from the, um, the feminine noun here. Where then again, we have the masculine noun, oikonomos, translated stewards. In 1 Peter 4.10. But it's the same word, basically. Here, according to taking, taking grace gifts as ideal dwelling law guardians, is speaking of each individual member of the body of Christ, of which we're dwelling members, actually. Okay, so here, dwelling law guardians is... The masculine noun, oikonomos, translated steward, chamberlain, and governor in the King James. Where again, then the feminine noun in Ephesians 3.2, oikonomeia, is then translated dispensation. And then again, stewardship in three occurrences in the King James. But it's in the same Greek word family. Same context. Dwelling law guardians, 1 Peter 4.10, regard the guardship of the dwelling law, of the grace of God. Of the grace of God. 1 Peter 4.10. For he has taken grace gift. Ideal dwelling law guardians. According to those who are dwelling members of the faithing. Okay, dwelling members. Strong's G3609, which is an adjective, a koyas, in the same word family. Where again, the masculine noun oikos, properly translated dwelling, is the outcome. Or the church, okay? So, in the dwelling of God, which any is the outcall of the living God, the pillar and the settled base of the truth, identifies dwelling members of the faithing as being members of the body of Christ, because the outcall also is the body of Christ. For his body, which is the outcall, Colossians 1.24, Ephesians 5.23. He is the safe guardian of the body, the head of the outcalled. The outcalled is the body, is the dwelling site of God, is of, of which the members of the body are dwelling members according to the guardship of the dwelling law and dwelling law guardians. So this word dispensation, Ephesians 3, 2, is nothing unique to Paul, Okay. It concerns all of the dwelling members of the dwelling site of God, the body, the outcalled of which we are being dwell built into a holy non handmade temple. In Matthew eighteen eighteen, the first occurrence of outcalled ecclesia church, Jesus said, "I will dwell build my outcalled." Again, uh, G three six one eight. Over here, G3618, from the word 
Oi Cardome. I think that's how you pronounce it. Strong G, 618. Oi Cardomeo. Oi Cardomeo. It's a verb here. It's in the same word family. It's in the same context of everything that I've shown you so far. Where again, in Mark chapter 14, verse 58, Jesus said, I will down loosen this temple, the handmade one, and will dwell build throughout three days another, a non-handmade one. Hence, I will dwell build my outcall. So dwell build again, it's the verb. Let's see, I think it's the same 3618. Yeah, 3618. Which, what Jesus is saying here is the same context of Ephesians 2, 21 and 22 in whom all the dwell building, see here again, here's another word in the word family, 3619, being jointedly reckoned together grows into a holy temple in the Lord, a non-handmade temple, in whom also you, yea, you are dwell built together into a guarded down dwelling site. <laughs> There's three variations of the, uh, the, uh, the so-called dispensation in these two verses alone. Okay. This is why the Devar translation is superior. It doesn't mince words. It translates them according to the Greek text. Dwell building, 3619, which you are being dwell built, 4925. So here's 3618. Let's go to 3619. G, 3619. Oikodame. Oikodame where the verb sonoi do kaimeo contains the preposition here from soon, which means together with. Hence, dwell built together. 4925 into a guarded down dwelling site, where here the preposition kata is added. So G2732. G. Two seven three two Strong's G twenty seven thirty two Katoiketerian Koita Katerian because again the preposition kata is in the word here. But right here is in the word and it should not be ignored. Okay, so this is again why the Devar translation is superior. Hence, guarded down dwelling site in relationship to the guardship of the dwelling law, Ephesians 3 2, concerning dwelling law guardians, those taking the grace gifts, 1 Peter 4 10. Where if you have the Devar software and you click a word, the box opens up, it gives you the word family reference. And then you can come over here and have a word family tab opened and look it up. And you see, look at all these words in the same Greek word family as dwell, dwelling site, guarded down dwelling, down dwell. It's vast. And if you were to look at all of the way the King James translates these words, it's, it's absurd. It hides the context of what God communicated in the Greek text in the original manuscript text. We have to stop trusting these corrupted Bible translations because they give birth to doctrines like dispensationalism, which word dispensation nullifies the concept of the dwelling and the law in oikonomeia.